So sorry about the background noise, somebody's mowing their lawn. So in today's video I'm going to be doing the engine mountings for the engine. Yesterday I went to the shops and I picked up some metal. So this is the plate that go against the engine. I'll show you over here. So this one is on over there. I just have two bolts in, but it's fine for now just to measure everything and all that. And then this one is for the other side. And then I got this 70 by 10, I think. Pretty thick steel that I'm gonna be using to take it from the engine to the mounting. And then on the mountings over here, I just have little squares like that. And then I'm gonna bring it down from the engine onto them, maybe two of them. Hopefully I can make that work. And so like I said in my previous video, this was an engine mounting I tried to make, but it won't be strong enough, but I just wanted to get some practice in with the welder. So as you can see here, these plates are a lot thicker. You can't really see it on camera, but it's about double the thickness. And then these piping was just exhaust piping. So it's like one mole thick, I think. Um, so that wouldn't be strong enough, but I got some good practice in and hopefully I can make it look a bit better today. Next step is to get the engine in its place again. I had to remove it because I put all the exhaust manifold bolts back in. I also put, uh, took the gearbox off again and put the clutch on. I had to buy a torque wrench to do that, so that's why I had to wait. So the clutch is inside. Um, this sensor is from my old engine because I know it works. And then the starter of my old engine fits. I also put this oil filter housing thing back. And the sump is back for now, but I'm going to take it off because I it just doesn't work at all with the sump on. All right, so the engine is standing on its own in the car. I have it standing on these little pipes just to get the distance. And I've been cutting out the engine mounting, so I just take some hardboard and then I just shape it on this and then put it on the steel, cut it out, and then it comes out looking like this. So I have the one part over here already looking good I want to see if I can get this side knocked out quickly and then tack them together and then weld them so let's see
in the garage for a change so i've got the engine mountings painted and everything all connected up i only have two bolts in at this stage just for now and the side as well they came out pretty decent i think um, i didn't actually want to paint them because i like the look of them but yeah so they don't rust so i just painted them now i think i'm gonna take off this Tap it cover with ya yeah, and see if I can make it look better. Um, pull the spark plugs, get the spark plugs out of there, see what I can see inside. And yeah, so the engine is in and it's turning on its own. You can see it has the oil pump and then the sump is gonna go around that and miss this bar. I did cut off a piece of it. So yeah, pretty cool. We'll see what we can do. But things are looking good. So let me get this off. See if I can maybe get this old paint off because I see it is aluminium underneath. Okay, so I got the valve cover off. So somebody's been in here with some gasket maker or silicone. I don't know. Looks like something I would do but i also wanted to check because this engine didn't have a oil cap on so there's a lot of dirt inside the engine and these breathers are also full of dirt oh he has a cable tie wow cable tie in the engine so i want to clean that out but yeah maybe get a new gasket and i'm going to take the grinder and see if i can make it look good on the outside <laughs> I'm 